If I asked you to picture someone you find difficult to deal with, whether that's uh, at work or in your family, you probably wouldn't find it too difficult. A few weeks ago we talked about how to deal with a friend or a co-worker that's having a bad day, but there's one or two people who always seem to be having a bad day and just permanently have a grump on. That's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to Mindfulness for Beginners. We all have somebody who we don't particularly enjoy interacting with because their behaviour doesn't seem reasonable to us. We might feel that they bring out the worst in us, that we get stressed or angry or miserable when we have to deal with them. Uh, We don't like those feelings, so uh, we don't like the person that's associated with them. Because the, the feeling of being annoyed is something unpleasant, we can sometimes try and shut that out. But if we avoid being present with the feeling, then uh, we can't tend to our anger, tend to our anxiety, and we miss the opportunity to look deeply into it. Uh, So we can start off by holding the feelings that you have for that person uh, mindfully in your awareness without judging yourself for having them. So we can stop for a moment uh, and breathe and just picture the person. And then whatever feelings you find are arising, giving yourself permission to feel that. So it's it's okay to be annoyed. Uh, it's okay to be stressed. So by accepting that feeling, we can begin to smile to our difficulty and think about the roots. What is it about this person's behavior that pushes our buttons? Uh, being annoyed at somebody is actually a great opportunity to explore yourself. And I find that whenever I'm ticked off at somebody, it's as much an expression of my fear or my insecurity as it is their behavior. So for example, it might be that I'm insecure about whether I'm doing a good job and then I can realize my attachment, become aware of it, uh, that attachment to how I'm perceived at doing my job and start to let go simply by holding the attachment in my awareness and smiling to it. So breathing in, I'm aware of my attachment breathing out I smile to my attachment and you'd be surprised what difference shining the light of awareness uh, on that can actually make and as well as compassion for yourself it really helps to develop a little bit of compassion for your antagonist as well there's an old phrase that I like uh, there but for the grace of God go I meaning that it could just as easily be me who's living that set of circumstances Uh, It's easy for us to project our own lives onto the person that you're annoyed at and look at them and say, uh, look at how unreasonable this person is. But of course, they haven't lived our life and uh, we haven't lived theirs. And if we could see their lives, then we would see the pain and ignorance and trauma from their circumstances beyond their control that's led them to where they are today. And happy and secure people who are at ease with themselves don't go around pushing other people's buttons. Seeing that person through the eyes of understanding can release some of the anger that we feel. And by wishing them well, we can liberate ourselves from suffering. And we're going to do a guided meditation today where we think of someone we love, someone we know who is suffering, someone uh, we have a difficult relationship with. We're going to think of ourselves. Um, We're going to think of the world and say, may you be happy, may you be peaceful, may you look at yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion. But before we do that, it's worth just being clear that nobody should have to put up with bullying and harassment. And if that is something that you're experiencing, then I would urge you to speak to somebody that you trust to get support because abuse is not okay in any context. Your relationship with somebody shouldn't be causing you harm or impacting your mental health. So if it's possible to create some space between you and them, I would encourage you to do so. And as I always say, nothing is more important than your peace. So we're going to do a guided meditation now. I'll start with three sounds of the bell. And I'll start off with the usual settling in introduction. So if you want to make yourself comfortable.
So firstly, considering your posture, and I would invite you to imagine that you have a thread attached to the crown of your head, and it's gently pulling you upwards into an upright position, your spine like a stack of coins, your heart raised upwards and outwards, your hands comfortably in your lap. Moving your awareness to your thoughts and feelings. Noticing if you feel warm or cold. Noticing if you feel tense or relaxed. Becoming aware of the sensation of the clothes against your skin. And the points of contact between your body and the chair and the floor. Shifting your attention to your thoughts and feelings. And as we go through the guided meditation, noticing each thought as it arises. And that might be an anxious thought about tomorrow. It could be a happy thought about today. It might be an annoyed thought about yesterday. Just sitting with each thought for a moment allowing it to leave and gently and without judgment bring your attention back to your breath and finally focusing your awareness and your breath noticing the column of air between your nose and your diaphragm Noticing how the air feels cooler on the way in, warmer on the way out. So firstly, picturing someone we love. Maybe happy, maybe peaceful. And may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion.
now picturing someone we know who is suffering at the moment. Maybe happy, maybe peaceful. May you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion. Now picturing in our mind's eye someone we have some difficulty with, maybe happy, maybe peaceful, and may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion.
I thinking of ourselves? May I be happy? May I be peaceful? And may I see myself through the eyes of understanding and love. Finally, picturing all of the people across the world may be happy, may be peaceful, and may you look at yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion.
opening your eyes. Taking a moment to stretch your back or your legs if you need to. Noticing any changes in your mind or in your body. And may you be happy, may you be peaceful, and may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion.